Hi, I'm Malik Pancholi, and I'm talking to Playbill about two my girls. Two My Girls is about a group of gay men um, who are very, very good friends who get together after the pandemic, after having not seen each other for a couple of years. They rent a house in Palm Springs so they can reunite, uh, but they find themselves at this crux of wanting to hold on to friendships and also having changed in the couple of years since they've seen each other, and they're grappling with where to keep that. And it's very funny, um, but it also gets, uh, gets pretty real. To My Girls is about this group of friends coming to Palm Springs to celebrate after this pandemic we've lived through, and the ups and downs of the relationships. Uh, I think it, it speaks to not just a group of gay friends, but it also can speak to any group of friends, you know, who come together and they realize everything wasn't what we thought it was going to be. So the play is about three generations of gay men and the nuances after the pandemic. So the ins and outs, the ups and downs of being a gay man living in the modern day. How I've been explaining it to friends is it's like this generation's answer to Boys in the Band. It's the millennial story of what it means to be a queer person, which I don't think we've kind of had that specific view yet. Um, so it's, uh, to have a gay play that's not about shame is really kind of lovely. Um, it's really a, about the inner workings of the queer world now. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's really exciting and super scary. <laughs> gay friends who have a deep relationship with each other and um, who navigate the sort of like inner workings of uh, how gay friendships work. To My Girls is about a group of people who find their tribe and after the pandemic, you know, everybody's a little shifted, a little more aware, a little more vulnerable, a little more themselves. They gather to recreate who they thought they were as a unit. But as you know, people change in the pandemic, so they bring their hope to enjoy each other. Um, but surprises come that they weren't expecting that shake up the trip in exciting, uh, <laughs> um, um, messy and beautiful ways. So it's about a group of friends who have to look at their friendship and decide, are you my girls? Are you not my girls? What kind of girls do I need to be around now that I'm a little different from that pandemic? You know, it's been interesting because we've been doing readings of this play throughout the pandemic, right? And so it's been really interesting to say, okay, so what is this moment in our quote unquote mid but still post pandemic? Um, so it's been sort of shifting for us. Uh, but I think the thing that has been um, the same is that there's still a real emphasis on the joy of coming together with people, right? That even though now we are, are starting to take our masks off and starting to feel a little bit more free with that, there's still a real palpable joy in um, reconnecting with people. Um, but we all feel like we have changed in many ways, right? And so I think that's one of this play looks at is how have we changed over the past couple of years and can friendships and relationships survive the various changes that various people have. I hope that when the audiences leave to my girls, they have a deeper understanding of gay people and the nuances and the complexities that we all experience on a daily basis. I hope they experience the kind of joy that I've been experiencing in this very queer room. Um, I think it's super important that not only everyone on stage, but everyone behind the table identifies somewhere on the queer spectrum. So we're, we're doing a very queer play with lots of very queer people. Um, and I've never been in a space like that. So the joy that I'm feeling in that kind of community, um, I hope that translates um, to the audience. They're gonna celebrate joy. They're gonna celebrate life and it's life affirming and friendships that go up and down and up and down, but come together. You know, and, it, and it's really these bonds that we have uh, are what, you know, keep us going. It's, you know, it's our friendship, especially in the gay community, it becomes family. And sometimes family can be dysfunctional, even the ones of choice. I want people to see themselves, and I want particularly black gay men to see Leo's struggle in this friend group 
and if it mirrors to them, allow them to say, yo, no shame, no judgment, but make a choice. You get to decide who your girls are. And if these people aren't your girls, girl, there are girls who are your girls. Find your girls, girl. Find your girls, girl. Find your girls, girl. <laughs>